Hey guys, it's Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Today we're going to take a look at some Power Rangers Movie 2017 items. First, we're going to take a look at Goldar. Here's the box that he came in. Well, half of a box. Got the power coin and the morpher in the background. Little tiny figure package. It says, Try Me. Swinging arm action. The back of the box. Got the new Saban Power Rangers logo with the new lightning bolt. Good portrait of Goldar. Little portrait of Rita that comes with it. By the way, this will be a movie spoiler for those who haven't seen it. And if you haven't seen it, go watch that. Movie Megazord. T-Rex Battle Zord, Sabretooth Tiger Battle Zord, Pterodactyl Battle Zord, Mastodon Spider Battle Zord, for all those that have seen the movie, they kind of understand, and Triceratops Battle Zord. Now let's take a look at Rita. There she is. She's two inches tall. And yes, she is wearing green armor. I will spoil this for you if you haven't seen it. She is the Green Ranger. At least the original Green Ranger. Member of Zordon of Eltar's Ranger team. Her head sculpt. She kind of looks like an Asian man. Ponytail. All those that remember Tommy from the old show. There you go. There's your Green Ranger with a ponytail. And for everyone asking for a female Green Ranger, you already got her. Don't do that to Tommy. Keep him male. Now let's take a look at Nacho Cheese Goldar. There he is. He's literally melted gold. He does have a really fantastic head sculpt. You can kind of see where his mouth would be. It's got horns on the top. All that good stuff. It's got arm articulation. He has a sword. And this big mace-like club thing. In the movie, I only remember seeing the sword. But maybe he had a club thing. I, I didn't notice it. His wings do open. And they do close. And if you're wondering what this big gaping open cavity is. This is the weird part about Goldar. At least to me it was weird. If I can get it open. There's a cockpit in him. I wonder who that might be for. Could it be for Rita? Maybe Goldar is another version of the Dragon Zord. Who knows, right? That's how good she stays in there. That's pretty much what happened to her in the movie. Now let's open his wings back up. And check out his action feature. He does have these two levers right here in the back which when moved move his arms and his weapons that's the only articulation you get besides his wings he has no head or neck articulation no leg articulation he's pretty much a statue but I guess it would be a fun toy for kids, or if you're a collector like me, it looks great on a shelf. Now, for the fun of it, 2017 Goldar is going to meet his vintage self. There is 1993 Goldar. The way he should be. A big golden ape in armor, not 
Nacho Cheese Goldar. Not that I'm saying I didn't like the movie, I just wish Goldar could have at least had a voice. He did actually seem somewhat sentient, so he wasn't like the putties, just a big dumb monster. He cared about Rita somewhat. But enough with Goldar. Let's move on to Megazord. First, we're going to take a look at the box. Now that's a box. There's the power coin in the background. Right here. The five rangers came in it. It says, expand the wings. Lights and sounds from the movie. Down here, you got Saban's Power Rangers logo. The name of the figure. On the side of the box, you got a portrait of Jason or Zordon, the Red Ranger. Yes, Zordon was the Red Ranger. On the other side, again, Red Ranger. On the back, you get a good picture of the Megazord with the morphine grid in the chest. It does have some guns on each hand and everyone thinks thought these were wings when we first seen the image but it's not they're swords and he also has a small blade that comes out of his fist let's take a look hold on i forgot he was still on the shelf there he is we won't be going over him right away though Let's take a look at the rangers he comes with. Let's start with Zack, the Black Ranger. Mastodon power. Just a little two inch ranger, but you do get a decent sculpt that captures what they looked like in the movie. Their chest is painted where the diamond is and so is their mouthpiece they have fully sculpted helmets and believe it or not I forgot to show you this on Rita they have arm and leg articulation pretty great right I won't be showing articulation on the rest because it's the same moving on Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, Pterodactyl. Very nice head sculpt, nice paint. She doesn't look quite pink on here. She looks almost like a silver salmon color, but she's pink. Billy, my favorite ranger from the movie, and I think he's going to be a lot of people's favorite ranger. RJ Kyler who played the role of Billy Cranston, stole the show. Yes, they do have a very alien aesthetic to their suits, but Zordon and Alpha were aliens. Rita was an alien. It makes sense. Trini, the Yellow Ranger, Sabretooth Tiger. And Jason, leader of the team. I really also enjoyed Dacre Montgomery as the role of Jason Scott. Tyrannosaurus power right there. Now, moving back on to the Megazord. There he is. He does have wings that open up. And they close. He has full arm articulation. If the wings were out of the way, they would go all the way around. And Saban thought about this for you. The wings are removable. They have little clips right in the back. He does have head articulation. 
which is an improvement from the 93 Megazord and the 2010 and the 2013. He's got a gun right here. He's got another gun. Massive one right here. This one actually can fire. If you look right here, there's a little knife blade. You press this lever. Now it comes a bigger blade. Pull it back in. It does have cockpits for each of your rangers. They're just kind of difficult to open. <clears throat> this is where Trini will sit. This is where Kimberly sits. This is where, I know, it's kind of weird. In the movie, Jason actually sits right here. But that's for the action feature. The sound effects. On the figure, Jason sits there. Billy sits there. And Zack sits there. I'm not going to put them in there right now. Because I might just display them on the shelf next to the Megazord. But, his helmet lights up. This shiny thing in the center looks like a mirror. It lights up as well. Pretty cool noises, right? Cool lights and sounds. That's a new one. It's supposed to be motion activated, or you can hit this little button right here, and it turns off the motion activation, and you just press the button. By the way, he's got feet boosters, like cannons. They are sculpted in a purple plastic. You got blue here, gray all throughout, with this nice textured sculpt. Yellow, Zord's right there. Red, pink is the wings in the head. I'm assuming the reason why they're purple on the bottom is because Zack Zord is black. Black and purple are kind of the same color when it comes to Power Rangers. Um, see if I can get them to say something. Because he does talk. Let's swing a right hook at him. You heard that? That's the voice of Jason, the Red Ranger. Either way, you can display him with or without wings. I kind of think he looks okay without the wings. And in the movie, these were swords. Like, quite literally, swords. I don't see a way he could hold them. I mean, I guess you could do that. Kind of. Looks stupid, but they were used as swords. Now getting them back on is the difficult part. Ah. Come on, Megazord, shut up. By the way, the name Megazord, according to the movie, was given by Billy. He's like, we just made a Mamazord. Not a Mamazord, a Megazord. Sorry if I spoiled the movie for anybody. I mean, come on. Who hasn't seen it by now? I'll tell you who. People who don't want a sequel. Support this movie. I'm not understanding. 
That's really weird. Okay, I did something wrong. There we go, I fixed it. No, I didn't. If you don't put these on in just the right way, they will not open back up. To me, that's a design flaw. Apparently, you have to put them on in open form. Or it just doesn't work. And you have to have the lever up if you want to put them back on. Or maybe you have to put them on closed. There we go. I'm still figuring this thing out. It's sat on my shelf since I got it. There's the back. Not a whole lot of paint. The only artic articulation you're getting is elbow, shoulder, elbow, shoulder. I mean, I guess you could count the gun as articulation and the blade as articulation. And I guess you could count... I mean, you can count the head and the wings. That's it. No leg articulation. I mean, I guess you could slightly move him at the hips, but he's not supposed to move there, I don't think. I No. No real foot articulation. That's it. Now, let's take a look at him. 2017 version. Next to the one from the show. <laughs> Well, there's much size difference. Um, one of the things that did stay the same is the Triceratops does become one of the feet, sort of. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell what's what on this guy, but based on the color, you got blue there on each foot, but the other half of the foot is gray and purple on the bottom, so I'm assuming... The Mastodon and the Triceratops combined together to form. There really wasn't much of a transformation sequence in the movie. They just rose out of a pit as the Megazord. Um, obviously, Sabretooth Tiger becomes the abdomen. Tyrannosaurus, this one, becomes the chest and arms. And Pterodactyl, which was the chest on the original, becomes the head and the wings. Which I like that. Because it was kind of stupid to have a flying zord, but you never used it for flight. The sword, I, yeah, I'm fine with the change. The shield, fine with it not having a shield. Um, if you look at the head shape, it kind of kept a similar design feature to the shape of the head, as far as the horn-like shape. But this one has a face with eyes. This one looks like a big ranger visor. You do have a big diamond on the chest. See how shiny that is? It's like a mirror when you're not pressing the button. And obviously, the rangers have diamonds on their chest. And there you go. That is Movie Goldar and Movie Megazord Review. Let's take a look at them next to each other. They are in scale. They're actually quite similar in design when you look at their bodies. It's almost like Megazord took this form because of the way Goldar looked, I think, maybe. Let's, let's get that money shot from the movie going. There you go, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.